Absolutely, that's right. The President of the United States has now just sent, uh, within the past couple of minutes, a blistering letter to Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi. Here's a copy of the letter. It's multiple pages long, uh, and it's an intensive critique of the House Democratic-led impeachment effort against him. This is, if you will, the defense that the President and his team uh, could have mounted if they chose to send a defense team up to the House of Representatives on their behalf. And it is a preview, I think, of the defense that they will mount uh, in any Senate trial that happens after the President is impeached. That vote expected tomorrow. The president here, uh, very critical of this entire process. A lot of it is similar to what we've heard the president say so far in both public remarks and in tweets. But he says to Nancy Pelosi, by proceeding with your invalid impeachment, you are violating your oaths of office, you are breaking your allegiance to the Constitution, and you are declaring open war on American democracy. He goes on to criticize Pelosi for saying that uh, she's praying for the president, saying that she knows that that's not true. She, he says you are offending American. Americans of faith by continually saying, I pray for the president when you know this statement is not true unless it is meant in a negative sense. It is a terrible thing you are doing, but you will have to live with it, not I. The letter goes on in that vein for a number of pages, Tyler, including the criticism uh, of, the, of the Democrats that they are the ones uh, who are abusing their power. They are the ones interfering in American elections, and the president himself has done nothing wrong. So uh, we can expect to see more of this during the Senate trial as the president defends himself. If there is an impeachment vote tomorrow, Democrats on Capitol Hill are moving forward with articles of impeachment in the Rules Committee today. Uh, uh, floor votes expected as soon as tomorrow. So we can expect to hear more from the president on all of this as he uh, is here at the White House uh, meeting with foreign leaders today, uh, but ultimately also very much focused on this. So this is a letter directly from the president of the United States to the speaker, not from his counsel, not from anybody uh, in his uh, uh, legislative liaison team. This is from him to her. Yep, there's the signature page there, the familiar Donald J. Trump signature at the bottom of the page. It's addressed to the Honorable Nancy Pelosi, Speaker of the House of Representatives. And, and it is a stinging critique of, of Pelosi herself, uh, the impeachment effort, a, def a resounding defense of himself and his legislative record. Uh, all of this uh, is the kind of thing that you've heard the president say before. Uh, presumably the difference here between this and any defense he would have mounted uh, in the House of Representatives is that this is just a letter on paper. This is not under oath, right? And, and there will be a defense team at some point uh, that will be making similar arguments in any Senate trial that's, uh, that's to come after we see where this impeachment votes land, vote lands. This so as, as we move forward over the next 24 to 36 hours on this, and let's point out that even as uh, this uh, war of words escalates between the president and the speaker, uh, some important legislation moved through the House today, a spending bill, uh, the uh, North American uh, trade agreement with Mexico and Canada looks like it is uh, poised to move as well. So, so there are the functions of government that are taking place. But as we move right. into, into tomorrow, uh, what's going to take place on the floor? The Democrats presumably will present the case, the articles of impeachment that were passed by the Judiciary Committee, and then the Republicans will do what? Well, the Republicans will vote against them on the floor. The question is, will there be any Republican defectors? Last time around, I covered the Clinton impeachment. Uh, there were some uh, defectors uh, who voted against impeachment. The question is, will there be some this time around from the majority party uh, who switch sides, from the minority party who switch sides? There were a handful of both of those last time around. That number will be carefully scrutinized to see just how partisan of an impeachment this will be. But Nancy Pelosi is a very good vote counter. The expectation is she wouldn't put this on the floor if she didn't feel extraordinarily confident that she has the votes to impeach the president of the United States. Uh, and then it will go to the Senate for a trial to determine whether or not the president should be removed from office. And the, the tone around this is as bitter as it could possibly be. Again, uh, quoting here from the letter from the president to the Speaker of the House, you know, just never really see anything like this in letters from presidents to speakers. He says, uh, the, he accuses Democrats of wanting to impeach him uh, for years now. He says, so you have spent three straight years attempting to overturn the will of the American people and nullify their votes. You view democracy as your enemy, exclamation point, from the president of the United States to the Speaker of the House, Tyler. St certainly strong words, Eamon. I'm also reading it here. It's a terrible thing you are doing, but you will have to live with it, yeah, not I. Do you expect a response from Nancy Pelosi ahead of that vote tomorrow? I would imagine uh, Nancy Pelosi could respond directly to it, or she could simply allow the impeachment vote to be her response. I mean, it, it does feel as if that is all but inevitable tomorrow. You never say 
absolutely in this Washington because this is a Washington, D.C. that surprises us all the time these days. Uh, but it does feel like uh, the, Republic, the Democratic effort uh, to impeach a Republican president is in full swing up there. Uh, and then we'll see where we go with the Senate trial. The question now is what procedures and processes and time frame will that Senate trial have? The, the trial involving Bill Clinton after he was impeached by the House of Representatives lasted, I believe, for five weeks. Um, I was in the chamber the day that President Clinton was acquitted, uh, and he survived that trial by making a, a defense of himself on the merits of the complaint against him and also on the politics, saying ultimately that was about his personal life. It had nothing to do with Ameri the American voters. We'll see what kind of a, a defense this president mounts if we get there in January.